of the eggplant girl, uh, the Ray uh, bikini build. I'm using Mr. Paint Remover and a toothbrush, and I am removing the paint. This stuff is uh, gentle on the on the on the resin. I almost said vinyl. It is rather gentle on the resin, so it should be uh, really easy to, to take off and. So far, it, it's doing a good job. So, because I had done the like a custom uh, skin tone, and I don't have it anymore, unfortunately, I think I have to redo everything, even including the arms and the, the leg that I already did. So even though those those are just fine, the paint didn't lift off of those at all. I'm gonna to have to just redo the whole the whole figure. All right, so now I'm giving her a bath in acrylic paint thinner, and uh, washing off the parts that way. So the the acrylic is gonna be a, an easy way of uh, giving this a, a nice wash off, and it's it's not gonna harm. Um, I don't think even la resin is, or lacquer is going to affect the resin, though. I don't think resin is is different than uh, than styrene, so I imagine I probably could give her a soak in in lacquer thinner, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to like do like a test part on like a uh, like 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 a, a scrap piece of resin or something to see if that would happen or not, but. In any case, I think she's she's been properly uh, stripped off easily, and much much more easily than than uh, uh, than styrene, I, I believe. Her resin has not been weakened at all, it seems. So I, I think it's uh, it's pretty pretty nice now. All right, so I'm not going to show you the painting process. You've already seen it in the previous video. Um, so I'm just going to give this another shot. What I might do, though, that's different, is, and this is what I did with uh, the 20th scale uh, Claire Frost figure that for the, the MiG-15 build, which, I, 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 for all I know, you know, it, it could have been uh, completed by the time you see this. Um, anyhow, I'm going to use... Mr. Resin Primer Surfacer, and then go over it with uh, the the Flesh Tone Primer. Now, in case anybody's asking me, well, hey, where I, where can I buy this? Uh, they have discontinued this, but they have a replacement product called Mr. Primer Surfacer, I think it's called, or Priming Surfacer. And look for that product because that is basically a, a replacement of this, and that one is is it says it, it's good for for priming resin. So there you have it. Or um, there is a Badger. Um, shoot, I forget what it's called. Somebody told me about it. Um, I think it was, uh, Franco told me about it. It's uh, something I forget what it's called, but it's made by Badger, and it is made for. Uh, for for priming styre, uh, for priming resin. Uh, okay, it's called Steinal Res, and that there's nothing but Y's in there. Steinal Res. There, there's no I's. It's all Y's. You know, whatever. Uh, anyhow, um, Steinal Res is what I'm told is what you can use. It's made by Badger, so if you, especially if you're in North America or wherever, uh, maybe you should use that to prime resin. So you know, just because. A lot of people watch my videos, and uh, you know I live in Japan, and people want to ask me where I where they can buy such products that I use. I, I I'm sorry, I I really can't tell you because I don't live anywhere but Japan. So um, you're on your own in that case. So uh, anyhow, um, hopefully the next scene is going to be where I left off with the the previous video in which paint got lifted off. Now, I have reprimed her. Okay, first I used Mr. Resin Primer Surfacer. And because it was rather gray, 
I just went over her with several coats of Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 white to whiten her up. So I'm going to go ahead and repaint her. All right, we're going to go with this again. Mr. Uh, Color Lesivus, seal it away. All right, so the next step, this is uh, clear pale red. And uh, I did this before, but I, I mixed it in with some brown. I'm just gonna do it straight because I don't, I just want to make this as easy as, I, as possible because I had, this is my second time painting this kit. I wanted to darken her skin a little bit, but. Okay, my dears, I have totally masked off Ray here really well. I hope so. Hopefully better than the last time, because I think if I remember right, I had some part on, on her belly that I hadn't quite masked off, and uh, that was uh, that was disappointing. Anyhow, here we go. All right, so uh, here you can maybe notice I used this is the new, as far as I know. I've never seen it before. This is the the Tommy uh, masking with the, the little plastic for you know masking off large areas like that. Pretty cool. Anyhow, so I'm going to be painting her bikini. This time, I decided to use the Power Orange. This is the same paint I used on the the uh, the, the Eggplant Girls Summer 2016 VW bus van. And I figured, hey, it'd be cool, cool if her bikini matched the van. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so I'm going to be doing the trim on her bikini, and I'm going to use that, uh, that same blue, it's that uh, Leftover Crusher Joe blue that I was using before. So I've hopefully masked this off for well enough. And this is ready to go. Okay, I'm just going to slowly build this up. Well, I guess I've built up the color already. Didn't take much. I don't want to overdo it. So I guess I'm done. Okay, I guess I'm done. I'll uh, unwrap her tomorrow, see how she looks. All right, so this is Nova's scratch remover. Number two. Now I have just very, very barely tiny little pieces of like uh, 
some coverage of paint here that doesn't need to be there. He's got some right here and right here. And instead of trying to wet sand it, what I'm going to do is just use some polish. Hopefully I can polish this paint away. Hopefully this will work. Because I don't want to ruin the, 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 the clear coat. Right? The step two. of the the painting system that they've got here so hey yep look at that most of it's come off already let's just keep polishing this here then I'll have to wash this off because I don't want the polish to be there because it'll interfere with the clear coat and such, right? So I've had this on my shelf for quite a while now and I was hospitalized and had the flu after that and blah 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 so I'm finally getting back to this kit and I think this looks nice. All right, so I'm gonna have to do some little bit of touch-up paint here and there. And yeah, let's see, like right there, actually. Mm. I guess it's okay, mostly. Yeah, I think it's all right. Just a little bit of orange that got down there along her bikini, but I think if I do some touch-up paint uh, with the blue, I should be okay. Okay. This looks nice. Looks nice. I think that uh, I don't need to do any clear coat or anything like that because this should be glossy enough, I believe. So, what I will do next is go ahead and do her eyes. Oh no! What even just happened? Oh no, sorry. Haha, <laughs> I got screwed up. It is the reflection. I thought I scraped off a. Never mind. I'm a spaz. Don't mind me. I'm just silly. I'm silly as hell, okay? Don't stick to me. Thank you. Alright. Okay. You know... No. Not today. Not now. Alright. Oh my gosh. Moment of the truths. Oh my crap. Alright, you know what? Let me go ahead and use some of this after all. Just to be certain. <sighs> Nuke it from orbit. That's the only way to be sure. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Huh. You know what? Hold on. I was just doing decoling on another model just a bit ago, so use this. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. Maybe not, all right, but we'll show, we shall see. <laughs> you know... Golly. Did I do it right? Shit. Ugh. It's just that, you know, it's like really 
like a big indentation in there. So it makes me wonder, did I get it right or not? Jeez. All right. Let's get that on there. Do hope this is going to go down well. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's nice though that they provide eye decals for these because you know those old garage kits from the 90s and such, they don't have decals for the eyes. No. Could you not stick? I hate it when things piss me off. It makes me mad when things piss me off. It pisses me off when things piss me off. That's what I mean to say. Um, this one seems to be going down a little bit more easily. Can't help but to think maybe her eyes are a little bit narrow. Kind of too close together. Come on. Please just don't rip, okay? Please do not rip. All right, I think I got it. I do think so. Um, so yeah, my uh, thing about uh, uh, polishing it seemed to work. I have like a little bit of a tiny little thing right there though. It kind of bothers me. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. Just a tiny little mark right there. So the orange is pretty glossy. And uh, as with her eyes, it gives you decals for two attempts, which is nice. Hopefully I can do this well. I'm sorry, am I in frame? I don't know, golly, I'm so silly. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Now let's see how well this goes down. This is the, the underside of her breast here. gosh. Why does it seem so much more Jibungusur? What? I mean, her boobs aren't that big. How is it that this is like so Jibungus? I got the right... This is number five, right? Yeah, it's number five. What is going on? This isn't like what I thought it was going to do. What? <laughs> okay. So this is like going bleh, like way over here though, so... Am I making a big mistake? Am I making a Jibungus mistake? I don't think so. Uh. Um. Maybe I'm supposed to trim the excess? What? Is going on here? S Six and seven, what's number seven? Oh, what? OK, 
Okay. Dude. This is like a really awkward deco though, because it like, you know, it has to somehow conform around the protrusion of her breasts, right? And that's like, I, I don't... And this isn't like, it, it causes like a gap here, you can, as you can see, right? Because this one, it seems like it fits just fine. And then you got like this empty hole here. What? Wait. Gosh darn it. It, the problem is that this thing is this way too long over here. I'm gonna have to trim that. In the meantime, though, I mean, I guess the design doesn't go like on her underboob area. I guess. This is so gosh freaking weird, man. All right, I'm gonna eat up like an hour of video, and I'm just gonna skip ahead. I guess this is about as good as I'm going to get it. So her under boob here is just a kind of strange, and actually, by the okay, you're looking at the artwork here. Okay, fine. This, I mean, it's black and white, but it. It's kind of hard to tell, but so the the red stripe just kind of goes underneath there somehow, and the only thing to do is to use Mark Softer to get this thing to conform over that. She's got quite quite a contour, right? So it's different than just putting the you know putting some decals onto like a, the wings of a airplane or something and she, she's got you know considerable sized boobs right so she uh, she certainly is uh, filling out her her bikini here <laughs> so that just makes it difficult to get this dick held to wrap around her 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 bosoms. All right. I went ahead and cut that long ass piece of dick hell. You know, I'm just gonna let this just dry. I, I'm just gonna let it dry, and, and then I'll, and then I'll, I'll do the the decal later, I suppose. No, I, I guess I can just proceed to the next one. I don't know. So now this kind okay, of yeah, it's gonna go around her butt. Which I'm, I'm guessing probably her bottom is gonna be easier to do. So. I guess I can move on. Do the do the other side maybe. But I'm going to cut that off. That long strand there. Okay, I'm put this in the hot water and see how it goes. Golly. Uh, I hope that the dick I was going to relax around there. Um, maybe 
If I make an incision, maybe. And I just messed it up. I just messed this up. Get back up there, pal. It's gonna take a while for that that deck hollow relaxer to do its work on there. But first thing, most importantly though, is this is gonna need to dry first. Are you, are you finished being stupid? Because I would like to move on to the next deck, I'll... Please... Okay. Alright. This is ready to come off. All right, let's put some setter on her other boob. Baby cat. That the white stripe is supposed to go this way, but it's not. No, that's that's not the case. Now on this one, it seems like the dick is fit on the underside better than the top side. Go figure. part on the top. We'll save that for later, I guess. For now, I'm gonna try doing the bottom. Well, she is looking pretty pretty nice, actually. Uh, I, I, I do wish I'd, I hadn't have uh, cut that decal there, because this one's turning out just fine. All you have to do is just keep hitting it with the mark softer, and that should go down. So I don't know if I can try to lift this up or maybe just leave it leave it as it is. But this is actually turning out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Once this this decals can go down and stay down, it should do the trick. Um, it's just that this is kind of like up and then down. Kind of not too happy about that, but maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I'll just go ahead and put put this stuff down on here after all. And this is looking just fantastic actually, as I thought. This is uh, pretty easy. 
Her eyes are turning out just fine too, I think. She just looks kind of weird because she doesn't have hair. <laughs> I am not having any luck getting this. There's like one last stripe decal that goes down here on the underside of her, her bust. I cannot, because even this itself doesn't really work very well. <sighs> this is, look at this. It just kind of flops around and it's not sticking. It, it just doesn't really... <sighs> This doesn't work. This does not work. I mean, it kind of curves up into the other decal, and it's supposed to kind of, you know, kind of follow along the the underside of her curves and such. But look at this. I give up. I can't get this to work. The, these decals are just, I don't know. They're weird. Really, really weird. So I I, I give up on that. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go forward with uh, the model as it is. Um, it's otherwise f looking fairly nice. I mean, her bikini bottom is, of course, a lot easier. It's just coming down a lot better. So, there you have it. Figure accent color, pink brown. Just doing a little bit here and there, like her cleavage here. And I get her ears next. I was going to do a, a flat coat on her, but I realized I need to do that, so I just did it. a little bit of shading it provides but that's nice oh belly button that's nice let's go on the toes as well fingers oops sorry yeah I got her armpit already here bit of, this is a tummy up putty. Going to add it to this one millimeter peg, or a uh, uh, brass rod. And I dropped her leg on the floor. 
gosh. Alright. Yeah, let's stick this all the way in. Stick it in the whole Stuart. There we go. Now this is good to go. Okay. I'm gonna have to drill a hole in her the bottom of her, her her leg here as well. Okay. Now <clears throat> a much bigger hole here. Cutters. These are the crappy ones. I, I don't care if these are get blunted. These are crappy, shitty, crappy cutters. There we go. All right. See that? Good to go. All right. As the CA glue dries, so shall the putty. Uh, like it is in place. 